imagine a world where your greatest fears become reality. Ah, they're flashing me! Welcome to Fear Factor. Each show, six contestants from around the country battle each other in three extreme stunts. Ow! These stunts are designed to challenge the contestants both physically and mentally. If a contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. There's no way I'm jumping in there. There's no way. If they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. But if they succeed, they move one step closer to the grand prize. $50,000. Oh Six contestants, three stunts, one winner. Yes! Woo! Fear Factor. I'm Joe Rogan. Welcome to Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous. They should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. Whatever has to be done, and I know I'll come out on top. I'm really confident. I think in order to win this game, it takes luck, because I think every single person in here is giving it their 100% all. You have to be focused on achieving whatever goal is set for you to achieve. My goal is to win this for my kids. I did not come all the way out here to lose. And this is really a big personal challenge for me to confront some of my fears and um, hopefully come up a winner. My approach to the competition is to take it in stride, whatever they throw at you, deal with it then. Because if you deal with it beforehand, you'll psych yourself out. My brother told me, Gina, you have to face your fears. I want to walk away with the money. I want to win. I want to win. All right. We six people have been brought here from all across the country for one reason. To stare fear in the eye and compete for $50,000. Now to win the cash, you're going to have to complete three extreme stunts. Stunts that will not only test you physically, but mentally as well. When the stunt comes up, if you're too afraid to attempt the stunt, you're out of the game. If you attempt the stunt but fail to complete it, you're out of the game. But if you do succeed, you move on to the next round and you're that much closer to the cash. This first stunt, you will have a starter's pistol. You will fire off your starter's pistol and you will run from that cone there to those three cones down there. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, here's the twist. Once you fire that starter's pistol and you run, a trained attack dog will take you out. What? I'm dead serious. The dog will attack you. What? Now, it's your job, once you start running, to make it across that finish line in less than a minute. If you make it across the finish line, you're fine, you move on to the next round, and you're that much closer to the cash. If you do not make it across that finish line, it all depends on how far you go, because the two people that are furthest from the finish line will be eliminated from the game. Are they muzzled? No, they are not muzzled. Perfect. You'll be wearing a padded suit. It's going to start gnawing on you. No matter what. Oh, no, the no dog's going to hit what. you. No, no matter what. Oh, my God. Believe me. All right, this is what I want you to do. You all have name tags with your names on them, correct? Yeah. I want you to put them in here. <laughs> And we're going to draw to see who goes first. Mia. Yeah. You're number one, babe. You go first. You want to take okay. two? All right, Mia. Come on. Let's get you suited up. All right. Are you worried? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, someone... I want to go home. How much do you weigh? 100 pounds. Wow. The dogs weigh 75. I didn't need to hear that. <laughs> Can't wait. I'm gonna say, well, he's your phone off. Like, yeah, this right. is his favorite thing. It's he loves to do this. So why are you doing this show? What's your motivation? Because I like challenges. Life is all about taking risks. Really? Yep, absolutely. That's why you did it, for the challenge? It's definitely not for the money, and it's definitely not for the exposure. It's to see if it's I can do it. definitely not for the money or the no. exposure. I need money. I get plenty of exposure for what I do. Oh, yeah? What do you do? I'm a DJ. Yeah? And a vocalist. Do you have an album out or anything? Several. Yeah? Really? All right, DJ Mia. Good luck to you. Thank you, I'm going to need it. So now it's getting, you know, crunch time. You suited up. What are you thinking now? 
does peeing my pants count as uh, being scared? <laughs> no, that's good. It throws them off. The scent. Remember, it's yeah, all about yeah. as far as you get because two people will definitely be eliminated, and those are the two people that are the furthest from the finish line. Jewel and I know. I know it's gonna be mine too. That's the big. That's the big one. Okay, where's my face hand? mask? There's no face mask. Look, Look at that outfit. Initially. You could do that too. She's all set. Wait a minute, I thought it had a face mask on it. <laughs> Sorry. How do you feel now? There's no face mask. <gasps> Well, yeah. this thing is going to take us pretty good, man. If they only made it that short, they wouldn't have made it that easy. No. Are you afraid of dogs? I got bit by one. I have 31 stitches on my face from when I got bit by a dog. I was like three, two or three. Really? Do you remember it? I remember it very vividly. It's your job to make it across that finish line in less than a minute. Are you ready? Go right ahead. Fire anytime you want. Oh, my God. How are you, Mia? You okay? How far did I get? You got pretty far. That dog was strong. Man, he was pulling me down. What was going through your mind from the take us through it? From the moment you the fired the trigger. I wanted to kick the out of that dog. <laughs> I liked her will though. She was yeah, crawling. No, she was like, oh, you don't oh. get to see she that. Had that, that will to win. <laughs> yeah, Mia, yeah, you go, girl. Let's take that. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Damn, I wish we first or finish line. Well, you got close. I didn't do what I wanted to do, damn it. What do you do? Fair, fair, fair. I work in an operating room. Do you? Oh, mm -hmm. You're a nurse. Mm -hmm. So when this dog yeah, you me here. open, you'll hook us up? <laughs> okay, come on, Art. Am I going to get across? You think oh, you're going to get across? Definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Very confident. Oh, yeah. You think you're going to walk away with 50 grand I'm during the three days? I'm, yeah, no. I'm going to guarantee the, the line. Let's take it one step at a time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guarantee this. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's a bigger dog than you attacked me, isn't it? Thing about sizing that, sizing that dog up and trying to get in his head, you know? <laughs> this is his head. Ready? Fight, kill, sleep. Whenever you're ready, fire the gun! Starter's pistol, a trained attack dog will take you out. Whenever you're ready, fire the gun! Hey, I like you. God, you got my arm, though. <laughs> Did he? You got my arm. You all right? It hurts a little, but whatever. Dude, you're a stud. So I got in his head. Did you? He didn't know about my speed. Luckily, he just hit me and grabbed my arm and then pulled out a socket. He did pinch it, though. Damn. I can't believe you ran that fast with that suit on, man. When you're scared, you do a lot of things. <laughs> you did a great job. It was yeah. awesome. <laughs> Jerk! No. All right, Sandra. We're gonna rock and roll? Ready. Are you ready? Go, All right, come on. Let's take her down here and get her okay. shooted up. Okay. See, look, it didn't even really do it. I mean, it hurt when he, because he had me like this, but it didn't even do it. Break the skin. Did he break the skin on you? No. No, he but he, I got a big bruise, no. like in three places on really? my arm. Oh my gosh. It didn't hurt at the time, but now it's like swelling up. I mean, there's a, there's a bump there really bad. It hurts to bend it. And what are you going to do with the money if you get it? Oh, home repairs. Home repairs? Mm -hmm. Really? Well, that's very pragmatic of you. Yeah. You still want to do it? Of course. Definitely? Definitely. What about when you hear the dog growling? Then you got to get nervous? Then I'm going to run fast. 
You I ready, Sandra? Ready? Anytime you're ready, fire the gun and run! Okay. How are you, Sandra? You okay? Yeah. You all right? Yeah. How'd I feel? Oh my god, I didn't realize how hard he was going to take me down. Did it hurt? Yeah, it did. Good job! Good job! You did it! You did what you could! Well, you fell a little shy of her pink flag. Okay. But you never know. I'm okay. You might get through it. Hopefully. The dude's very scared. What's his name? Ari? Is he? Oh, he's petrified. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Your arm? It's already bruising. Stop playing with it. No, if I rub it, it'll massage. If I massage it, it kind of like evens out the pain. Okay. So All right, let's get Ari padded up. You ready to do it, dude? No. First now. Yeah. You gotta do it, though. Get a load of these socks. Did I kill those bad boys? These, these sock mittens this dude's sport. These are my toe socks. You have a toe ring in your toe socks? Yeah. And you wear them on your own free will, then? Yes. Oh. It hoits. Mia's not happy about her bruise on her arm. Has she got a bruise on her arm? She said she didn't. She said she did. She's been over there with my arm. Really? Yeah. Uh, she showed me nothing. I think she's trying to like... Get some sympathy? No, like make you scared, thinking that it's gonna bite you and hurt you. And no. she's trying to play with your head. No. She said it's a little dog. <laughs> That dog's gonna plow him. That dog's no no that dog's smaller than all of our dogs. Yeah, you talk a lot of crap. That dog's big. You're out of your mind. That dog is big and he's gonna hit him hard. You ready, Ari? Yeah. Okay, on your mark, whenever you want, go. <laughs> As hell. How was that? This suit is heavy. How was it? You alright? Yeah. How got bad little, was it? Got a little pinch. A little pinch? You wanna get up, man? Need some? No. Uh, you wanna get up? I'm just gonna. You wanna lie there for a minute? Uh, you alright? Uh, <laughs> you did it! <laughs> we all hate you, but you did it. You took me down, didn't you? Yeah. I mean, I didn't think I'd make it to the line. You did, though. Yeah. So you gotta be psyched. Yeah. No matter what, you're in the next round. So you can torture me some more. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a great time. Man, you, just you had it, you had it. Oh, Jeez. Are you a cop or something? Yeah. Yeah? So Chicago cop. You've been around all this, right? I don't have any training with dogs or anything. None? But I do a lot of running and chasing people. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is not making you nervous at all? Yeah, of course I'm nervous. Yeah? I mean, the dead things we got, it's gonna take us pretty good, right? Oh, definitely. Just watch. Those dogs are all business, man. All business, that's a good way to describe it. <laughs> totally antsy right now. Dude, you, you can't go down now, right? Not after Mark stayed up. Yeah. Is that going through your head right now? I just want to get past those two flags. That's all that That's matters. it? That's all you care? All what if matters. you fall down and you don't make it to the end and Ari did? That's got to suck. It'll suck. Look at him, dude. That definitely Look at suck. <laughs> Boys on the force back home here. in Chicago okay. aren't really going to be able to handle that too well. I won't well. be able to go home. <laughs> I put the right. pressure on myself. I'm glad I came through. I think he should be disqualified for knocking over the cones. Yeah, he knocked cones down. That's, that's <laughs> just poor. That's poor. Thanks, guys. Is he going to get eliminated? 
know. It's heavy. I don't know if I could crawl on the thing. Crawl. It's not the right attitude. Yeah, I'm kicking ass. What you am I talking up. about? No, no, I'm saying I'm when you're down. I'm ferocious dog. I'm making a little pansy puppy that you got. Yeah, you got the pansy puppy, You got puppy, the pansy man. puppy. Hey, but listen, I'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> Call my dumb foot dog, girls. big or small. Mm -hmm. That's the you have to beat. You have to beat the two girls that didn't make it right. to the end. You just have to crawl past Mia and Sandra and you're in. Then you know that you're not one of the two people mm -hmm. that's the furthest from the finish line. That's right. all you have to do. If you get past that pink flag right there, right, you're then in. I'm in. Then you're in. How do you Oh gosh, it? she's already suited up. Is that the same suit we used? Yep. Be nice to me, okay? I think I'm probably more scared than the others because I was attacked by a dog as a kid. I felt this before. Remember, this is your flag, right here. Are we ready? <laughs> Anytime you're ready, shoot it! If you get past that pink flag right there, right, you're then in. in. Then you're in. Be nice to me, okay? <laughs> Anytime you're ready, shoot it! Congratulations, Thank you made it through. You. Good job, you did great. You just got that one spin on you and then he changed your angle. Uh, okay, we tried our best. Right. We did a good job, we did a good job. But he was hurting. Was he, did he bite you? He's biting. You okay? Yeah. And what was going through your mind for the moment that, that pistol went off? I kept thinking, my hands need to be inside and they're not. I was looking for his shadow. You see him creeping up on you? Uh-uh. Boy. He just came at me, I went down. Thank you. It hurts so badly. All right. Well, congratulations, Gina. That was a tremendous effort. Thank you. Congratulations to the rest of you guys for making it to the second day. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to Sandra and Mia. Guys, thanks for coming along. Thanks for being a part of the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have Thank to say you. goodbye now. Thank you. I think it's good to face your fears. That way you acknowledge what you're afraid of, you meet it head on, and you deal with it, and then you're able to just move on after that. Who do I want to win? Gina, because she's a female, and she's got the least chance, I think, out of all three strong guys, and she's as tall as I am, and she weighs as much as I do. I hope she wins. I hope she kicks those guys' butts. I really do. All right, folks, well, congratulations on getting through day one. How many of you thought you were going to definitely make it? Definitely. <laughs> you two guys. <laughs> now you two guys have this this rivalry thing going. Like you were totally rooting for him to fall. Yeah, I wanted him to fall hard. <laughs> did you? <laughs> I wanted to see him fall too because he was so sure he wasn't gonna fall. But did you guys think Ari was gonna get this far? No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but yeah, well, you might not have seen his socks. Show him the socks, dude. My show him the socks. My socks? Yeah, my show him the socks. All right, I'll show you my socks. Look at that. Pete the cop from Chicago is not happy with your finger toe thing. <laughs> Well, congratulations, you guys, on making it through the day one. Thanks and a lot. Uh, we'll see you all tomorrow with your next stunt. Thank you, sir. Cool, cool. Thank all you. right, let's get out of here. All right. In addition to being a cop, I rehab buildings. And uh, if I win the 50K, I'm going to use it as a down payment on another building. 
think we all want to make it to the final challenge at least. Ultimately, I want to make it to the end for myself, not only for the money, just because, I mean, this is exciting. If it does come down to strength and endurance and speed, the other guys will win. But I think Gina feels somewhat like I do. We're here to have a good time. I'm a little nervous about tonight. I feel they're going to step it up another notch. How you guys doing? <laughs> Anybody afraid of the dark? Hey, no? Afraid of rats? <laughs> How about bats? See, you afraid of rats? Are you? Anybody? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> well, that has actually nothing to do with what we're going to do. <laughs> the number one fear that most people have is called a fitophobia. Does anybody know what that is? Well, snakes? Exactly. <laughs> this next stunt right is called the snake pit. Oh, nice. hell no. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, nice, huh? For this next stunt, you will lie down face up. You will be strapped in so you cannot move. You will be covered by two dozen snakes, ranging in size from four feet to this 16-foot boa constrictor that weighs over 200 pounds. Are you kidding me? You have to lie there, covered in the snakes, for three minutes. If you freak out, we'll pull you out, but you lose your shot at the cash. Now, these are real snakes with real teeth. All right, they have over 100 needle-sharp teeth, and we cannot guarantee you that they don't bite you. The good news is, if they do bite you, you automatically move on to the next round. Okay, does anybody not want to do this? I don't want to do it. <laughs> I'll be in there, though. <laughs> there are 24 snakes in here. Yes, there's 24 snakes. That one is totally staring me down with it. And this one's coming, coming from Mark. Check that out. I don't know. All right, we've already randomly selected who's going to go first. And Pete, you won the draw. You going to do it? Yeah. Okay, let's get you dressed. How you feeling, man? Uh, not too good. Not too good? <laughs> as soon as the first snake touches you, you got three minutes. Oh, oh man. Jimmy, snake's out. Oh, man. oh. Now remember, if one of them wraps around your neck, or if one of them starts constricting on you, let us know you can't handle it the moment you can't handle it. As soon as you say, I quit, we'll pull them off you. How you feeling, Pete? This ain't cool, man. You all right? Ah, oh, something's doing something. Something's doing something worse. You want to stop? Where's it at? Is it biting you? You got another 10 seconds. Yeah. You alright? You got it, you got it. Time, get him off. Alright, he's good. He's done. This one could definitely kill and eat your they ass. All Crush you. How was it, Pete? That sucked. You ready? ready. Alright, remember, you have three minutes. Anytime you want to say no. Okay, let's bring in the snakes. From the moment it touches you, you have three minutes. Oh. 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 Okay. Uh-huh. They are squeezing so tight, making my legs stay together. Okay, time. Right. Done. Ooh. Alright, Ari. Ready to rock and roll? Go, Ari. Okay. Here we go. Now, if at any time you panic, if at any time you feel something wrap it, especially wrap it around your neck, you let us know immediately. Hmm. That part is not fun. Pete, when you were freaking out, what freaked you out the most? Probably when they dumped their thing right on my face. When they dumped the bucket of snakes. But when on you my were face. in there, when you were groaning, what was hey. it? 
grabbing my legs and feet. Oh, yeah. Oh. How you doing, Ari? Oh, it feels like they're feeding on me. They probably are. <laughs> At least the big guy's head is down here. Yeah, but that's where his that's foot is. Comforting. Remember, if it bites you, you automatically advance, so let us know. Okay, Ari, your time. That's it. What was worse, the dog or this? The dog. Definitely. The, definitely I mean, the dog. What do you think? The dog? Definitely yeah. the dog. The dog. I don't know. Not to Pete. Pete, what was worse, the dog or this? This. This. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to go, would you have rather gone first? Oh, hell yeah. Why is that? But now they're all pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> They've been doing this all day. No, they haven't bitten anybody yet. You might be the first one. Yeah, it's time for something. You still think Pete's your biggest competition? I think that 250 pound snake may be. Okay. Oh, damn, why do you have my neck like that? Damn. Can't breathe real well. Dad. Can you breathe? Can you breathe? My neck's a little tight. Well, if one of them wraps on, honestly, let us know. Honestly, it's my neck's a little tight. You okay? It's, little, it's getting tight. Check, check his neck. They are covered in the snakes for three minutes. You alright? Can't breathe real well. You okay? Mm-hmm. My neck's a little tight. Well, if one of them wraps on, honestly, let us know. Honestly, it's my neck's a little tight. You okay? Yeah, but it's a little, it's getting tight. Check check his neck. If it goes under the back it's of your neck, right, it's gonna be really in trouble. Right, just watch it. Oh sh something's like hissing. Hey, how much time? Five seconds. Oh, damn, something in my ear. Time. Sit. Congratulations, Mark. Yeah. You made it through. I was worried about you, dude. Are you afraid of snakes? You can tell us now. Um, I dream, every now and then I have a nightmare about them. Yeah? What's in the nightmare? What happens? Some, some along these lines. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, congratulations. We made it through two days. We have one more day and one more stunt to go. What do you think your chances, Ari, of winning this thing now? Uh, honestly. One in four? One in four? Yeah. <laughs> Pete, honestly, how are you going to feel if you lose to a guy like Ari? <laughs> <laughs> is that going to bother you? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and why is that? I don't know if I could live with myself. <laughs> Guys, he's got ponytails. You think I'm going to lose to him? All right, Gina. No worries. You're the only girl here. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Think you can walk away with this song? I don't know. I mean, I think we all have at least one fear, and if that just happens to be what, what we're up against tomorrow, then you what don't What is know. your one fear? I'm not telling you. <laughs> this whole thing is all matter. over. You ready for it? All right, cool. let's get out of here. I got a good feeling today is going to be pretty intense. I'm sure it's going to take a lot of guts, a lot of nerves, and hey, I want to win just as bad as anyone else out here. I just really hope that it has nothing to do with heights. Today's the last day. It's the last stunt. I want to win. I've made it this far. I really don't want to give up. I want to conquer my fears, and that's what I'm here to do. This is it. This is the final day. One of us throws home a winner. Someone's walking with a chunk of change, and other three are going home with no money. I would imagine today's stunt will be the most extreme of all three. I'm almost 100% sure I'm going to win. What's up, guys? How's so, everybody doing? What's up, man? Feeling good? How you doing? Last day. Everybody excited? <sighs> All right. Well, first off, I want to congratulate you all on making it this far. Thank you. You all did great. Are you ready to see the final stunt? What separates one of you from $50,000? Yeah. This final stunt we call the beam walk. 
you will be up there over 100 feet in the air. That beam is six and a half inches wide. You will walk from one end of the beam all the way to the other end. You will pick up a flag. You will turn around. You will walk all the way back to where you started from and post the flag. The person who does this the fastest will win the cash. Now remember, you don't have to do this. You can back out right now, but you lose your shot at fifty thousand dollars. And we're timed on how quickly we go there and back. Yes. How wide? It's, it's like suspended too, and it's going to be moving. If you look all the way up there, and it's really kind of freaky to me because there's just this one little bolt that's holding the whole yeah, thing. Kind of freaky to me too. Mike, how do you feel about going first? I'm not happy about going first. You're not happy about no, that? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. It's randomly selected. Luck yeah, of the draw. Right. It's and enough talk. Let's get you up right there. Here. Come on. All right, now tell us about the sphere of heights you have. Is it severe? How bad is it's it? It's pretty good. It's pretty it's good? good? Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. What happened? Of course, phobias go, it's pretty Something good. Something ever happened when you Nothing were a little Nothing ever kid? happened, that's the thing. I'm just I've always avoiding it. it from day one. Right? <laughs> just avoiding right? it from <laughs> any problems with heights. So. Okay, well, good luck. Thank you, sir. I'm going to be over here rooting right. for you. Come on, guys. Right. Let's go down here. Sweat. I mean, the hardest part was getting you know, up. It was swaying. Oh my god. Yeah, it sways like crazy. I took two, three steps. You gotta I couldn't stand up. Oh man, you all right? Yeah. Oh, you grabbed the pole. Can we get a medic? He's bleeding. Maybe if you're lucky, everybody will panic in no six inches. Panicking. What are you talking about? Six inches. They're all. I should, I should at least go like this. Bro, believe me, they're all panicking. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just are you okay? pissed. Ah. Uh. Hey, can we get him out of his harness? Dude, you're pinky. Oh my god. Oh, I honestly, oh god. It's, oh it's a little slice. What's that for? Just to get flexibility in case I I'll tell you fall. what, you can you can you can touch your hand of the bar if you do cartwheels the whole way. Okay. That's a new rule. I tell you what, if someone get a, over and across back, more power to you, because I'll be very impressed. What are you thinking right now? Yeah, that's my dying. job. I'm thinking of falling. My job is to get inside your head. For the people at home. Losing. What else? I'm thinking of fifty thousand dollars. Is that your main motivation? I'm thinking of the money? I don't know. Okay, are you ready? How are you feeling right now? I'm happy that I'm on the ground. You ready? Yes. Okay. Good luck. Thank you, Jeff. How do you guys think she's gonna do? I think she'll do. I think she'll do all right. If, it, if there's not a sway for it. Swaying right now, man. There she goes. One end of the beam to the
the other end. You will pick up a flag, walk all the way back to where you started from, and post the flag. I got through it. You have to go out with a bang, right? And you have to. Gina! Check you out, you savage! Yes! One minute and one second. I looked at nothing. I looked at nothing but right? the flag ahead of me. And I think the fear of the fall was more intense than the fear of what I was doing. All right, bro, now you used to be a dancer, is that correct? Uh, still do a little dancing. A little dancing? So obviously you move your legs good, you got some coordination, you think that's mm. gonna help you here? No. No? Why not? You I got on your feet, yeah. you got balance, absolutely. You're comfortable moving, right? Yeah. That's gotta help you. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thanks, I bumped this. That's all right, don't worry about it. Okay. We'll be back here watching you. Okay. Gina's gonna be rooting for you, Woo! guaranteed. It's shaking, shaking, bacon. Dude! All right, here he is. Look at him. Look at him smiling up there. How do you think he's going to do? He's going to do well. You ready, Ari? Good luck. doesn't matter that I didn't make it because I still have, you know, a whole new experience that most people I know will never be able to say they've done. How are you feeling right now? That's a tough time to oh, beat, man. my friend. This yep. has got to suck. That's worse than losing a hair, right? Just losing, losing man. I don't, I don't want to lose. I, you just, don't wanna I want to win the money. Right? 40 seconds. Well, you got the opportunity. Ultimately, your destiny is in your hands. How you like it now? How do you like me now, he says. Oh, you know he's going to be rubbing in your ear. <laughs> oh, Ari, check you out, dude. 40 seconds. Look at that, buddy. 40 seconds. Not bad. Pretty sporty. Pretty sporty. You beat her by 21 seconds. Now, do you think you were at an advantage knowing that she did it, she did it fast, it's possible to do it? No. No? Once you get up there, the whole thing. Yeah, what's it like? Talk us through it. You're up there. As soon as you get up it's there, hot. You look down, you're like, wow, that's cement. Now, also, did you think about how you're holding the flag? Because you had the flag in one hand. I, I, like, when wow. I started walking, I was like, I'm going. I'm almost to the other side. 
I have the flag. Right. I'm heading back. And then when you and put then the flag I got it, back I was in, like, uh. how fast do you think you did it? You think you won? Yeah. When you put it back in, you did. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, that felt like less than a minute. Beat the cops. Number one fear is about to be realized if he does not beat 40 seconds. That is Ari walking away with the cash <laughs> after all his smack talking. Yeah, there was all a... that stuff in the beginning. Amen. No doubt about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely gonna win. <laughs> no doubt about it. Look at him. My uh, my philosophy stands. Don't tell me. Show me. So what are you thinking right now? I just want to get up there and do it right. You got to be 40 seconds or the pigtail wearing, hip hop dancing, toe sock dude from San Francisco beats the big tough boxing cop from Chicago. Any questions? Nope. All right, bro. Good luck. We'll be over here rooting for you. Later, man. Definitely think he's gonna fall. I, I'm actually worried about him falling. You worried about him getting hurt? Yeah. But well, you're not worried about him him beating you. <laughs> you got the money. So as far as you're concerned, right now, pressure's off. Right, you can say it now. It's not even talking smack. You think you got the money? Yeah. started to fall and just sprinted, yeah, just sprinted the last like five ten feet i couldn't believe it honestly I thought, I thought that was you i thought you had it oh, oh that, that was last stumble when you got through that i'm like oh he's home you got to the end at 15 I seconds times. i, didn't I yelled it out time. I, I, when you got to the I'm end i yelled out 15 I seconds I, I was like oh i couldn't get it in and then, oh. oh all right pete well congratulations on an excellent effort you really did you, you were so close you were a hair away from it but ari took it I gotta give you the walk of shame, my friend. I gave it my best. There's, there's nothing to feel bad about. As long as you try and do your best, you're all right. I mean, that's what you learn your whole life, so. Winning would have been nice, though. Well, congratulations on Thanks, the win, man. the 50 grand, and evidently fear was not a factor for you. <laughs> Stay tuned for scenes from the next Fear Factor. On the next Fear Factor. Don't fall! Can we get a medic?